Now at 6, finding solutions to making our streets safer. To get anything passed at the state level, it will take the blessing of Republican state lawmakers who have a supermajority in Nashville with early voting for the midterm elections starting tomorrow. Today, Republicans were sharing their ideas for lowering crime in our community. Brad Broders listened in and he's live in Whitehaven for us tonight. Uh, so Brad, what were the major takeaways? Well, Richard, the speakers here said crime not only impacts quality of life in the Memphis area, but also impacts future economic development. So speakers here earlier today running for office or re-election laid out specific proposals to fight crime with that legislative session starting in January. Now at that forum at the True, Eureka Truvine Baptist Church, those speakers laid out several specific crime proposals. Included with that, Representative John Gillespie said he'll propose longer sentencing for those convicted of rape and kidnapping. State Senate candidate Brent Taylor supported blended sentencing that would keep some juveniles in custody beyond the age of 18. And to cut down on the lengthy backlog from the Jackson lab, multiple candidates proposed that Shelby County create its own dedicated lab and staff to test sexual assault kits. It doesn't make any sense for us to wait 9 to 11 months before we can find out if that individual or a certain individual is guilty of a crime. It gives them an opportunity to do crime after crime after crime. And we have seen it happen in real life right here in Memphis. Now, in recent weeks, we've also showcased specific solutions from Democratic lawmakers in the delegation in Shelby County. Last week, Senator London Lamar met one on one with Governor Bill Lee to lay out possible solutions to fight crime in the next legislative session as well. Live in Whitehaven, I'm Brad Broders. Well, it's good that people in power are at least having a conversation. Thank you, Brad. ABC 24, of course, will stay on top of all these efforts by lawmakers, by community leaders, and community members looking to implement ways to reduce crime in our city.